It's staring at me. I see you. I'm about to have to check into the ICU in a f***ing minute. Hey, Hi. it's Zach. Welcome back to another episode of Zach Reacts. Now, before we get into the video, let's pick the winner from yesterday's giveaway. I have all the comments loaded here. Let's see who won the $100 Amazon gift card. Tara! I'm going to be hitting up Tara and giving her her Amazon gift card. For this episode, we're going to be giving away a $50 Steam card. So if y'all want that, all you got to do is drop a like and a comment down below. We've got a packed episode tonight of Zach Reacts. A bunch of different things thrown in here. The first one is called Analog Horror Happy Child Cases 1. I don't think the words Analog Horror and Happy Child belong anywhere near each other. But shake my hand. Happy child case. It happened in Kentucky, causing seven deaths and 10 injured. That doesn't sound very happy to me. Okay, we're in a park. Uh, this is Slender Man's little brother. It looks like I win this. This is little cousin, man, trying to get up to no good. Really? He thinks he's gonna live up to the, oh shit. Well, he's getting taller, he's growing. Oh, is that him? According to the description. It has a tall black shadow. Okay. About to point five times the height of an adult male. All right. Ooh, that shotgun might not do anything to him. It can make children laugh and shriek. Or they can to the Okay. Ooh, beheaded. All right. Well, that's kind of gruesome. Good at lurking. That's me, y'all. Put that on my gravestone. Video document. Kentucky Police Department. See that? Great. Okay, now we got the police on scene. He's heavily breathing. I'm over here just narrating what I'm seeing and hearing on the screen. Peak. What? Happy child. Did that say go and buy a happy child? How the fuck am I supposed to buy? People who witness happy child often have hallucinations, facial contortions, insanity, etc. I've got all fucking... This shit's already pissed me off. Unhappy, happy. Are you sure? He doesn't look very happy in either. Unhappy, happy. She looks happier on the left. She looks a little like she got her face ripped off by a chimp. Unhappy? Happy. Okay, did they get lobotomies? I feel like that's what this is. Is this a lobotomy commercial? Okay, because I really do think I might need a lobotomy. Do they still offer those? 2023? This next video is called Identity Test. It's another analog horror. Another test, man. Three Let's weeks see. Three masquerade as a French nobleman. And now it is time for you to change back and return to your provincial university. What, what movie is this? If I was like some 80 year old grandpa or some shit watching this and that popped off, I really think I would go to heaven, right? Y'all can't just pop off like that. I'm turning it up. I'm turning it all the way up. It is all the way up. You will be shown images of human faces to test your recognition of uncandidates in them. Alright, man. We can hear you. What? That, okay, normal. It's just weird lighting. Normal. Kind of pretty, not gonna, normal. Hi, how you doing? Okay, uh, he looks like a school shooter. <laughs> but it could be normal. Not, not putting anything out there. Okay, that. <laughs> Obviously, he smokes some of that gas station weed. What does his face look like? Oh, um, probably the one on the right. Oh, shit. Well, I don't really want to see it. Okay, I'm gonna kill you now. I will tell you what your mind cannot comprehend, is what that said. Go ahead and tell me. This big forehead, did I? Guys, you know how sick I'm getting at this? Excuse me? Guys. 
this is just a this is just a non-stop roller coaster. Are we going in the shower now? Oh no, there's somebody already in there. My purest apologies. I most humbly apologize. I'm gonna leave, but tell me you didn't take all the hot water. Ooh, Ooh we can't see them. Ah, uh, or can we? Okay, uh, it's the face on the left. Visual hazard. What does that mean? Should I not look at it? The failure of Jeff Alberson. Damn, y'all really had to go after Jeff like that? Okay. <laughs> Calling him a failure. Oh. Classified documents. Police reports. That's probably that little kid that was standing in the bedroom. Golly, like just put him down. It's staring at me. I see you. I'm about to have to check into the ICU in a fucking minute. <laughs> We're creeping up to the window. Guys, can y'all fucking chill? The a chamber in the woods. I'm about to chamber something in the middle of the woods. A door to a realm we know where you live. Come knocking, bitch. Who is this now? 11.04 p.m. January 1292. Okay, is he tripping Oh, we're watching him watching. What the fuck? Guys, I don't think I've had an analog horror, like, keep fucking me up this much over and over and over again in a minute. It's just like banger after banger. Fuck you, Zach. <laughs> What did he say? I want to... I What? Where are we going? We're just leaving the property. We said, nah, we're good. Appreciate it, though. God bless you, man. Okay, who is that? Is that that woman? Are you alive? <laughs> Guys, you know what? It, it, it sends, like, something down the back of my neck. Every time, identity test. Is it over? Did I pass? Did I, did I fly in colors? This next one is called Analog Horror Family. This is by Urban Spook. Now, these videos that he makes are really kind of, I wouldn't say controversial, but they're pretty dark. And if you don't like certain themes, pretty much anything, I would kind of skip through this one because this hits every beat and it's pretty fucked up. But this is pretty much about a serial killer who like paints his victims and, and turns them into these really messed up things. It's really dark. Uh, and this is one of his newer entries. Let's check it out. Violent and disturbing content. Probably the most disturbing and violent analog horror series. Over the past few days, there have been numerous gruesome murder reports. One of the victims was the elementary school teacher, Isabel Jackson. Now this is gonna be sad as shit. Why are we going after the fucking elementary school teacher? Isabella called 911 in the midst of the attack. However, the address she provided led the police to a completely different crime scene. What? How does that make sense? The address belonged to a family of three, Janice, Paul, and their son, Zeke. Okay. I used to be called Zeke back in the day. I don't know if y'all knew that. Don't, don't start calling me that again. That pissed me off. They were expecting a daughter in just a few weeks. So did the whole family get murked as well? Right outside their home, police found a bloody garden shear. What awaited the police inside the house was so shocking and repulsive that one of the officers requested a period of leave from duty the very next day. Janice and Paul's bodies were found in the kitchen, both ruthlessly executed. I, I feel like I know where this is going. The fetus had violently been cut out from Janice's stomach. Bro, I can feel it. Janice was then strangled to death with the umbilical cord. Paul was found dead a few feet away from Janice, tied to the kitchen counter with his mouth shut. Sewn shut. Oh my gosh. That's the layout of the kitchen. The fetus was found in pieces scattered all around the house. He put him in the toilets. 
it, I, I warned y'all. Didn't I warn y'all? I bet y'all were like, ah, shut up, Zach. During an autopsy, they found the head of the fetus shoved down Paul's throat. He died from asphyxiation, choking on his own unborn daughter. Like, if you think it gets worse, it gets worse. And Zeke is still missing. Yeah, remember, they had a little, a little, like, probably three or three? Three? Are you three? Two? I don't fucking know. He could be seven. Inside the house, there was also a painting. Its title had been painted over except for the word pipes. Did he put Zeke in the pipe? What the fuck? Did he peel his face off and stick him in a pipe? Police later managed to track down the real address of Isabel Jackson, though they were too late. But, so she gave them the wrong address on the phone? The headless body of Bruce Jackson was found right by, right by the open front door. He'd been stabbed in the chest seven times. Oh, so he got her fucking husband too. Where one would expect to find his head, a painting lay in its stead. And it was titled, Infinite Ma Bruce. What does that mean? Ah. I guess. I don't know what an infinite Ma Bruce means if someone wants to translate. Isabel was found murdered inside the bathroom. The lock to the door had been completely destroyed by a hammer drill. Isabel suffered multiple skull fractures and a hole was drilled directly through her frontal lobe. Okay, remember we were touching on the, uh, the lobotomies earlier? A rolled up note had been put inside of the hole. He's putting notes inside of heads. The note read. <laughs> Let's see. I live where I can't breathe and I eat without teeth. Where am I? Or what am I? What? I live where I can't breathe. A pivotal clue emerged at the crime scene, unraveling the new possibilities in the investigation. I'm still trying to figure out that riddle. Do, do any of y'all know the presence of the two sets of footprints in the blood suggested there was more than one? Wait a minute. They firmly believe whoever's behind these paintings and murders does not work alone. Yeah, that's supposed to be the murder right there. But wait, we got an accomplice now? As for why Isabel gave the address leading to another murder scene is still a mystery. Yeah, that I still can't figure that out. Isabella's 911 call stands as one of the most disturbing calls ever recorded. Uh, you're not going to make us sit here and listen to it, are you? Oh, perfect. What you're about to hear may be very distressing. Wonderful. What's the address? Okay, the police are on their way. fucking frontal lobe. Hello? Isabel? Isabel's not here right now. Like, come on, man. Are we done? Okay, this last one is called FNAF VHS Tunnel Vision. We're going back to a Circus Babies Party World, or whatever that one was called. Um, and this guy's static. His shit is so good every time. We get so immersed. So I want to check this out with y'all right now. Okay, y'all didn't have to do that. Proceed with caution. Slight gore, syringes. If y'all are, I mean, that's a good one. I, I hate needles. At Circus Baby's Pizza World, hey. we only have one rule. Don't ever let the fun come to an end. Oh, uh, fun time Foxy, that's yes, my boy! King, or girl, I don't know. Music and more. There's Bon Bon. Is that Freddy? Right in. Is 
an old commercial. Circus Babies Pizza World. Yeah. Dude, like, I'd be hype as a kid. Like, oh, they got a Circus Babies Pizza World? As above, so below. Uh, no. Oh, I guess we're going below. God, I am sick and tired of this. I thought this was real for a minute. We come down here. I was like slaving away week after week for this company. Facts. Fixing their damn robots, and what does it get us? Oh, so this a dirt is Jason and Blake. Paycheck and daily trip down two dozen flights of stairs. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. It wouldn't be so bad if they at least let us use the elevator like the rest of the staff. The difference between you and I is that I'm not crying like a baby because I have to do my job. Oh! Even the mascot performers get a goddamn water break. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, well, you know what, man? Maybe, ooh. Greetings. Please display identification for access to maintenance chamber. Here we go. Thank you. Welcome back. Hey, man, I'm playing. Thanks for oh. clocking in. Your tasks today include maintenance of Funtime Foxy. We yeah! hope you lovely songs as you get him back to working <laughs> order. Yes, sir. Funtime, where you at? I I'd be best friends with this dude. Every day clocking in. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. <sighs> Let me guess. No card. I must have left it in the van. Come on, you stupid thing. Don't do I'm this sorry, to me. But you aren't authorized to access this area. Chop, chop out there. Oh my gosh. Come I'm on, not man. doing this alone. Any time, will ya? He's fucking up. He forgot his damn card. I want to see Funtime Foxy, man. You couldn't make it to my show. So I brought the show to you. Like, I want to see him. Isn't that him? There's never enough stay room on this stage for both of us. Bring him out. What the fuck happened here? I don't ask me, man. You're the cameraman. You're the guy who works here, remember? We can't operate on anything. Not like this. Really? Okay, well, how about this? Um, you're the what technician. The hell is that robot? Funtime Foxy? Oh, there he goes. Hey, Fox. What's good? What Wait. do you say? What, what, what? Whew, that scared the shit out of me. Blake, are you okay? Blake? Wait a minute. What the fuck happened to- Ooh, Blake got fun time I'm fucked. Sorry, you, no, 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 Blake! Sorry, uh, Blake, Blake, open the door! Blake, ooh, wait a minute, is that blood? Blake, what the hell? Ooh, is that blood, Blake? Bloody Blake. That's what they call him. <laughs> no, they don't. They do now. <laughs> fun time Foxy? Oh, no. shit. <laughs> Please. Hi. <laughs> Dude, I thought we were cool, oh, man. Oh. Oh, yep. my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. No, please. Please. Oh, 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 received. Oh. Oh, wow. Now the door opens. So, fun time Foxy had a heart. Okay, I'm putting the headphone back on. Get the hell away from me. Oh, we're running up the stairs from that thing? That is a nightmare. That is a nightmare. Y'all know I don't like getting chased. That's a phobia of mine. Is there like a certain name for it? Because I'd rather... There's no way he fell! <laughs> and he's alive. I really can't believe that. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Funtime Foxy. Oh, wait a minute. That was just a dude. Was that his friend Blake? Containment breach. Containment breach. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Containment No for employees. Party service cannot continue before asset is contained. Containment. Oh, Containment. so Funtime Foxy got out. <laughs> false alarm. Oh, some Funtime Foxy's in there. Oh, false alarm. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, wait. Funtime Foxy has admin privileges? You have your orders. Seek out a subject and report back to me. Oh, he's being controlled right now by probably William. Don't disappoint me. Okay, daddy. What? Let me go. Are we gonna be Funtime Foxy now? Above. Oh, we're going, so we were just below, below Circus Baby's Pizza World. Now we're going above it? Or probably not above, probably in it. That's gonna be sick. Oh, no. Hide and seek with Foxy? 
and it's just a, a a tube slide into a wall. That sounds like kind of the funnest thing in the world, but also the worst idea ever. So wait a minute. Is is this an actual attraction? Y'all just have a foxy animatronic crawling around a slide or what? What is that? Activity sheet? Collect your extra B-Day badge. Oh, wait, it's her birthday. Enjoy a tr delicious treat with baby. Take a picture with Foxy on your way out. Oh, shit. So she's gonna, so she's checking off her to do, they give her a list of things to do for her birthday that's probably gonna end up fucking her up. Damn, okay. Oh, shit. Dude, this, this, <laughs> this is so professional and everything. What the hell? Property of Fazbear Entertainment, 1985. Uh, Fazbear Camera Service. What? This is that slide that that girl just went in. But is this that girl filming? It could be. I hear kids outside playing. Hopefully they don't come in the slide. That's the thing, man. I used to go to like the play place at like Chuck E. Cheese and McDonald's. I couldn't do it because when little kids started chasing you from behind in that tight ass spaces, no, no, that's, I, I mm -mm. Ooh, lovely. Hello? Oh, so it is the little girl. Hello? Hello. Who are you? I'm Funtime Foxy. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But- Oh, but I'm not a stranger. I'm fun. And I Foxy. know you. And you know me. You're my friend. Foxy? See? I'm not a stranger. What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be out there, on the stage. Well, uh, I had to make sure, sure you were okay, all alone in here, by yourself. Is, isn't that what friends are for? To keep you safe? Well, I'm okay. Dude, I feel like You Foxy, can go now. I think- ooh. Foxy! I have a special place. A place where only I seek my very best of friends. Oh, can I go with you? Where we can play That's together. Can, 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 can. How does that sound? That sounds hype as I hell. Play. The fuck, little bitch. Foxy, isn't it your birthday? I want to go home. Engaging that retrieval. Wow! I, you know what? I knew, I knew at some point he was gonna launch down that tunnel. Oops, he got away from him. Why are you hiding, friend? Hey, y'all, this shit's actually fucking scary as hell. I, I feel really bad for this little girl. Like her, it sounds like she's actually. Uh, who took a picture of me? What the fuck is that? What? Yo, William Afton's taping fucking camera. That's fucked. Look at this little ass kid in this. T <sighs> She's like, bitch, let me get a closer look at this damn camera. And we, we all know Foxy's going to pop up to the right in the tunnel. There he goes right there. Hi. Hey, go ahead and look about. Eight o'clock, back there. Whoa! Y'all good? Welcome back, Foxy. Thank you. Anything to report? Yeah, I report killed a little girl. Uh, Two witnesses, both neutralized. Employee numbers 314A and 314C. Body disposal protocol followed. Inadequate subject has been captured and is awaiting further examination. That's more. Lab two. Foxy, you've done well, as accurately as I've ever designed. Now. Pause, Foxy. I'd be like, power down. Come on now, y'all. <laughs>
Okay, William. Don't worry. You can shut off your auditory senses. I feel like she's going to get a bit loud. All right, bro. That's... <laughs> Yeah, dude, he's, he's, laugh, he's laughing about the children screaming, getting murdered to death. What the fuck just happened to me?